What, you're gonna be reading that manga all day? Have you been to GameWorks yet? What, you're waiting for WB to actually make a good DC movie? Come and check out the games. Welcome to Vegas, bro. Well, good to see you, bro, but uh, we already did a GameWorks episode before. What's going to be different this time? This time, we're going to see the games. Let's check it out. Alright guys, so before we start our trip here, let's kind of take a quick look at what Intercoin now is. The famous base of Intercoin we always used to go, now it's like the Red Sports Bar Nightclub. And I mean, it's never been rebuilt or nothing, it never, you know, built it like elsewhere. Kind of like how Gameworks used to be in the Strip, now it's like rebuilt in Town Square. Like, it's just gone guys, so, you know, it's just gone, just a... Uh, Moment of silence for insert coins, kind of moment of silence there, but well, let's go to the other places. All right, so here's the Press Start Gaming Center that Johnny and uh, Peter went to once, Sweet Pete. And uh, what happened here, Johnny? I don't know what happened here. Oh, God. Oh, God. So they moved the location to this place and now it's closed down. You guys saw. Is it still open? Yeah, they don't open until the evening. Oh, okay. All right, you got you gave us a scare. So Never mind. What are you guys up to? Uh, just filming stuff around. We're not from around here. Okay. You know how it is. You're not thinking of renting a space in this building. Um, <laughs> no, we had the money. Good. Hey, we had the money, maybe, don't, right? Don't. Okay. Don't. Why? Things falling down. Oh God. Okay. Thanks for the advice, man. All right, guys, so here we are in Gamer's Paradise real quick. We've got a couple of cool arcade games, including, of course, the famous granddaddy of all fighting games, Street Fighter 2. Or even Street Fighter 2, uh, champ, yeah. Oh, wait, what's that? Is that hyper fighting? Yeah, it's hyper fighting. Because so only the SNES called it Turbo for some reason. And, of course, we got the famous, uh, Capcom vs. SNK 2 Mark of the Millennium. And check it out, Johnny. You could buy this for a thousand dollars. You got a thousand dollars? You want to buy this arcade? Have it at home? It's not going to fit nowhere in my apartment. Then we got the original Killer Instinct 2 with Maya there. That's kind of cool. And we got other games here and Tiger Road and stuff, and more of these games that got the, you know, thousand and one games in one arcade machine. And we've got Marvel vs. Capcom 2 that, whoa, it only cost $900. There we go, that's a little cheaper. Having Marvel vs. Capcom 2 for 900 bucks in your home, it's kind of awesome. But um, yeah, enough of these other weird arcades. Let's go with like the actual game wars like we're supposed to go. Let's go. Vámonos, Johnny. Vamos a comer unos pinche asada fries. Vámonos, cabrón. All right, so we finally made it to GameWorks, which is in Town Square, Las Vegas. Other than the usual arcade games, like some version of Tekken and some version of Street Fighter, the place also has a bar, you can get some food, and you can also rent to play some games like PS4 games and Xbox One games for one or two hours, or however much they cost. So, we're going to skip all the regular arcade games and stuff we already have at home, and go straight to the kind of games you can only find and only play at an arcade. I'm talking about games that got guns and games you kind of step inside a vehicle and stuff like that. Let's check those out. So the first game we encountered was Big Buck World, the latest in the Big Buck Hunter series released in 2010, with the original game, Big Buck Hunter, being released in the year 2000 by Play Mechanics Inc. It seems that every arcade and casino in Las Vegas has like some version of Big Buck Hunter out there, so it's about time we actually play the game for ourselves. Of course you simulate shooting bucks in the wild, the catch is there are several other animals you don't want to shoot such as does. So you have to have real quick reflexes to determine if it's the right animal or not and shoot them before they run away and of course you need good aim. There are several different kinds of modes to play that include different kind of animals and different challenges for your marksmanship and uh, yeah I think I did pretty much okay you know my first try here you uh 
you know, you shoot, you cock your gun, you shoot again, whatever. I think I kind of, I shot some animals here and there. And Johnny, on the other hand, well, that's one big game hunter that's going home without dinner. <laughs> sorry, bro. The next one is this cool Batman driving arcade we've been seeing around for a while, and this time Johnny took the wheel. Simply titled Batman, and released by Raw Thrills in 2013, this game is a lot more awesome than I thought it was going to be. You get to choose several different kinds of Batmobiles, and it is so cool. You can actually choose a Batmobile from the Adam West TV show, the one that was used in the Michael Keaton Batman movies, the one that was used in Batman the Animated Series, even the one used in the Dark Knight Trilogy. You can also choose what bad guy you're going after, like the Joker, or Mr. Freeze, or Bane, and the stages are different depending on what kind of bad guy you choose. Because of course each bad guy has their own different kinds of goons working for them, and all kinds of different hazards and stuff like that. You can also upgrade your weapons, that is interesting, you can actually like, I guess, save your profile and continue later on, almost like it was a console game, so that's, that's pretty cool for an arcade. But yeah, this game is awesome, and I really love the graphics, and I especially love the cutscenes. Like, this game is fucking awesome. If you love, like, driving games, and I quit like Batman, like, definitely play this game. This one's fucking awesome. I took the wheel in the next game called Allied Tank Attack, released by Enjoy Motion, and, um, yeah, I couldn't find a year for this one. This time, you're at World War II, and a game that you customize your tank with weapons and all kinds of cool settings. The game has several modes, including a story mode where you try to end the war once and for all, a battle mode where you gotta destroy the enemy base before they destroy yours in the time limit, and a survival mode where you try to outlast tons of enemies and huge bosses. This game is by itself at GameWorks, but apparently you can connect up to four arcade cabinets together for multiplayer action. The deluxe version lets you have two players, so they're all together, that's like eight player multiplayer madness, that's gotta be insane. It was a pretty cool game, I did enjoy it, but I did spend most of the time running around in circles here. The next game was an interactive roller coaster type game called Typhoon, released by Trial Tech, and well, we'll let our experience speak for itself. Okay, so what do you want? You want the Revan Racer, the Canyon Coaster, Astro Pinball? Ooh, why not, why not Astro Pinball? I just don't know, oh you gotta push the buttons? This is the most intense game ever. This is not fun. Of course it is. Whoa. Now I gotta hold down tight to the because you're supposed to have both hands down, but I'm still filming this guy, so I gotta really shift my weight here so I don't get thrown off this machine. Wait, was that it? Oh shit, ball two. Oh my god. Fucking crazy man, the crazy set like the boat flying and you have to grab your hands. We have people online, but let's go. But that was crazy. I did manage to sneak in a quick game of Turtles in Time, and yeah, I know we weren't gonna play regular arcade games, but come on, it's Turtles in Time, there's always time for that. And yeah, it was fun, except that whoever played Leonardo just left after they lost their first life, so now we're stuck with a turtle that couldn't move, and he was holding us back, and we had to keep like moving them forward, and it's like, come on bro, don't leave a turtle hanging. And finally, we got Pump It Up Prime 2 2017, and yeah, I give it a shot. I'm not really that good at the dance dance type games. I know like the pros can somehow like really like dance, like, like they can somehow combine actual dance moves and stuff while pressing the buttons or I guess stepping on the buttons in, in time and motion or whatever. I was just focused on actually trying to, you know, press the buttons or step on them and try to get like a halfway decent score. I wasn't really focused on, on dancing or doing moves in between button presses or whatever and yeah I didn't do that well and yeah I should probably practice more. Uh, too bad bro. Alright guys here's our general thoughts on GameWorks now that we actually played the real arcade games on um, the last time we just rented the uh, you know the games we played for an hour or two it's pretty much like having a PS4 at home so it's not like a big deal really but um, now we played the arcade games it did kind of change something in the past when this was still on the strip next to the Coca-Cola building it was actually like, you know, put your money in, change your dollars, but you know, put some coins, whatever. Now, you gotta buy like this card, the card's like two bucks, it might of course change by the time you guys go visit it or check out, you know. But now it's costing two bucks in 2018, and you put your, like, your credits in there, it's a rechargeable card, and um, it's pretty cool, you can like double swipe for two player action, sometimes it's 
like one swipe is enough for two people. So you know it's kind of cool, it's kind of fun, and yeah, you know it's rechargeable. And of the actual games, what can I say? We played our arcade games that we don't really get to play at home, the ones that have like the cars and stuff. And the most fun was the typhoon game with the shaking and the oh, yeah. pinball. Like like you're actually the pinball on the things. That was kind of crazy. That was fun. It, it was worth checking out again. If I ever go to if I ever go to GameWorks again, I want to play that game again. There's like all these different options of games that we chose, like the pinball one. There's like others and stuff. And any other thoughts? Uh, well, I like the venue itself too because it's not just the arcades, but there's also like um, a bar section. Um, there's food, like you know, like in the bar they serve food, but then they also have like a restaurant in there where you can also eat actual food, and uh, it's pretty cool. And then they have a place where you can rent the games, like to just play the games for. Yeah, and I noticed there were people like waitresses walking out with pizza. Like if you want to, I guess, organize like a kids' birthday party, they got like games and stuff. They got pizza there. You just eat it, and so, so it's a it's a lot of fun. It's a fun place for sure. Yeah, it's mostly fun though for the real arcades, cause again, if you already have a PS4, you know, Xbox One or a PC, cause they got PC gaming, like you know, just just play it at home, you know. But anything else, like the other games, the Dance Dance arcade machines and the the that Typhoon game, stuff like that, like that's what that's where it's at. That's where it's really at. That's just pretty cool. So, any last thoughts? Uh, just check out GameWorks. I think it's worth it. They have a lot of fun games there. There's a lot of things to do. Um, and yeah, that's pretty cool. And then the cool thing is that once you have this card, it's, you know, rechargeable, rechargeable, so it doesn't expire. So you could just add more money in there. And that's pretty cool. And then it's also kind of good though, because like now these people don't really like to carry that much change. So just having a card, you just swipe it. That's just, I think that's just better. Yeah. Like I had to waste time getting all my coins. And yeah, we, we brought tons of quarters for nothing. I was looking for a place to change the quarters. So, so someone told me, like, no, you got to get your card. you got to get your, whatever this is called, your game card. Or whatever. So anyways, guys, this is Mark Rodriguez here. It's Johnny Rodriguez. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Somewhere in town? Yep, yeah, she's not that far from here, actually. Then let's do this! I'll teach her to brainwash me. Wait! Angel is the most powerful voice bender I have ever seen. If she can control Pete from so far away, think about how powerful she is face to face. This has gotten too personal, you guys. Johnny and I will have to go. But you guys, you don't have to. This is too dangerous. Where we're going, we don't know we're coming back. Guys, you know I got your back. We're gonna stand against the forces of internet evil. Man, I'm gonna go crazy if I don't kick butt in this movie. I'm going. You will need a voice bender on your side. I will assist in the final battle. Huh? Yeah, I'll go. Whatever. You know, baby, we can die after this. <laughs> Will the video game master survive the fight against Angel? Let's